Traffic Light Transitions. This video is going to help you use transitions in your writing so that your reader knows when you're moving from one event to another. Let's take a look at the beginning of your story. How will you signal to your reader that your story is starting? We're also going to take a look at the middle. The middle signals your reader to the next event happening in your story. And sometimes your middle might have more than one event, so you want to know all the cool traffic light transitions to use in your story so that you can let your reader know you're moving to a new event. Also, you'll have the end. The end sends your reader a signal that your story is wrapping up and coming to an end. Let's take a closer look. How will you signal your reader that your story is starting? Think about the beginning of your story. Remember, you want to set the stage and introduce your characters and your setting. You can set the stage by writing to begin, to start, once upon a time, or it started when. Once you have your beginning done, you want to move on to the middle of your story. And in the middle, you want signals for your reader so that they know the next event is happening in your story. Remember, you can have more than one event in the middle of your story. Let's take a look at some transitions you might want to use in your story. After that, meanwhile, later, or soon after. Once you've written your beginning and your middle, it's time to send your reader a signal that your story is wrapping up and coming to an end. This is where your end of your story will be. Sometimes this is the hardest part, so take a look at some of these examples and pick one that might work best for your story. You could say in the end, finally, or at last. All of these ways will help you signal to your reader that you are transitioning to a different part of your story.